This is my little Hendrix QRP kit survivor transceiver. It's a little QRP transceiver for the 80 meter band. Although it says 75 meter SSB CW transceiver, there's no such thing as a 75 meter band in Australia because um, we've only been given the segment between 3.5 and 3.7 megahertz. So, um, more accurately, it's 80 meters, but anyway, it's almost complete. The only thing I really got to do is put in the output transistor, um, MOSFET, I should say, and then tweak that. I'm just going to give you a little look on the inside. Yeah. Wiring could be a bit better, but you know, it's all going to be covered up, you're not going to see that. Um, I'll put a little tran no, I mean a capacitor over there across the tuning cap to uh, lower the frequency a bit. And the VFO coil in the manual it says, well in the assembly manual it says 21 turns. I did 20 and then tweak that a bit. One change I also did is I put a little 4 pin connector instead of the little 3.5mm stereo connector. That's for the mic. Um, the reason I did that is I got a cheap little Uniden CB radio mic which cost me about $20. So we cheapy. Um, plan on using this with the little Hendrix SLT Plus um, long wire tuner for an end fed. Now, um, I may pop in the transistor a bit later but that doesn't mean that I'll be um, demonstrating it because for one thing I don't have a 40 meter piece of wire and my backyard's relatively small and my 80 meter antenna sort of got blown over in the wind but um, at least I'll give you a bit of demo on um, receive. But first things first I'm going to plug it in and show you a bit. Just bear with me and uh, see in a tick. There it is turned on. Um, you can see the display, it's only showing um, every th the, the fractions of megahertz, it says 631.5, that's 631.5 kilohertz, so it's 3.631500 megahertz. It'll show you the most significant um, digits there, if you just press that button. Now I've sort of tweaked it, so it goes from 3.5287 megahertz to 3.719 which is slightly out of bounds but you know I'm smart enough not to know not to um, transmit over 3.7 megahertz so um, what I'm going to do let me just put it on 6 3.628 let's make that a bit more stable 3.628 close enough turn on my little Elecraft I would say 3.63. Let's bring that down to 3.628. More, more, more. Okay, as I said, I don't have the power MOSFET in the um, output section of this transceiver. Now I've um, got the headphones plugged in. Now, if you in the instructions, um, it says um, you can put it in tune mode by giving it a short burst. And you can hear that bip, so when I press down, you can hear it in the transceiver, I'm um, in the Elecraft. And there's a the high pitch is from the um, headphones, the low pitch is there. Okay, now if I was to give another short burst of this, it takes it out of tune mode. You hear that double bip. Now it's also a CW transceiver. Now, um, let's imagine this is a key here, so I do H, H, which I believe, if I remember correctly, is four dots, one, two, three, four. It's in CW mode, so now I can use a push to talk as a, a CW key. Now, I don't know CW, so um, it's one of those things I've got to learn. haven't learned yet, but, you know, sod it. Now, there's no way to get out of CW mode, so I have to turn it off. Turn it back on again. And there I am. Now, um, yep. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's being picked up in the, um, let me just move this wire over here a bit. One, two, one, two, one, two. Obviously, I'm not tuned properly, so I'm just gonna bring it out a bit. One, two, one, 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 one. 
one, 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 one. Now, I've got one, I've got the camera in one hand, I've got the mic in the other, so I can't exactly tune it to make it sound natural. One, one, one. So I'm sounding a bit like I've been inhaling nitrous oxide or something like that. One, 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 or I'm going through a pitch shifter, but at least gives you some sort of idea that this thing works. Hello. Hello. Something like that. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I'm going to pop in the MOSFET and um, finish this. So it means I've got to put the camera down. Anyway, here we go.